I was born into a family of 19 kids. I was the number 19. Father was killed in the Second World War. I went to girls' school all my life. And then I went on to a girls' college, Smith College, which helped me shape the can-do spirit that it doesn't matter who you are or where you come from. If you work at it, you will get there. Mother was the older sister of Mrs. John K. Choi. Mr. Choi, who's the founder of the Culture Foundation, was the manager of the San Francisco Federal Savings on Grant Avenue. And he had a building where he could rent the next door uh, ground level and make a community center out of that. I was one of the, our earliest members. I was going to school on the East Coast when Auntie sent a, a brochure saying, send me $15 for the Chinese Culture Foundation. So I did. People told me, hey, law school wants you. So I went and applied at the, on the last day and got accepted. <laughs> And I was very happy I did it. Feel that oomph that I, I need to do something with it. It was a question of uh, fairness and justice and equality for all, including the Chinese Americans and uh, females. When I had my daughter, that was a proud moment. I'm very proud of the magician that I produced. Got to thank my family. My husband, who has given me the freedom to be whom I am. And I thank my family, my sibling, for making me, allowing me to go forward with my uh, own self-assertiveness and um, making sure that things are fair and equal and just for everyone. I am very proud of it. Uh, I'm grateful for the recognition. And uh, I hope this is just a comma and we're going on and we have a couple more decades working together. One of these days, when people think about San Francisco, they will see Chinese America as part of it, that it is accepted, that it is part of, when you think of San Francisco, you think of Chinese America. And if, when that becomes synonymous, I, th I would be very happy.